Welcome to A Simple Word, with a brief reflection on the scripture readings for this coming Sunday. I'm Father Elmar in Victoria, Kansas. This coming Sunday is the 4th of July weekend. We will celebrate Independence Day, the freedom of our nation, and our personal freedom. The Gospel reading will remind us that using our freedom to make wise choices is rewarding. Reflect on this verse. Whoever receives a righteous man, because he is a righteous man, will receive a righteous man's reward. Whoever receives a righteous man, because he is a righteous man, will receive a righteous man's reward. The right use of freedom brings blessings to ourselves and others. Conversely, the misuse of freedom diminishes the life of the whole community. Violent crime is an obvious illustration. But our own minor offenses harm others as well as ourselves. When Pope John Paul II visited the United States in 1999, he gave a speech that bewildered the secular media. Pope John Paul II said, The Ten Commandments are the Magna Carta of human freedom. The Ten Commandments are the Magna Carta of human freedom. Only by honoring those commandments can we be truly free. Now, on the surface, the Ten Commandments seem to limit our freedom. They're always telling us what not to do. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. Yet, those prohibitions guarantee our freedom. That is the paradox of freedom. Only by restraining the use of freedom can we be truly free. Now, our homily box will have an illustration that is timely. This coming weekend, 4th of July weekend, there will be many backyard barbecues, cookouts. And at a lot of those cookouts, there will be beer. As a responsible adult, I am free to have a bottle of beer. I am not free to down a six pack. If I overindulge, I abuse my freedom, and I lose my freedom to addiction. This is freedom, the freedom to have a bottle of beer. This is loss of freedom, overindulgence. Our freedom disappears in addiction. There is an old Chinese proverb that is relevant here, and the proverb goes like this. First, the man takes a drink, then the drink takes a drink, then the drink takes the man. First, the man takes a drink, then the drink takes a drink, then the drink takes the man. So, this is freedom. This is loss of freedom. Now, the same is true of the hamburgers, hot dogs, and honeydew at that cookout. Overeating is an abuse of freedom, an abuse of the body, with the loss of the freedom of good health. Gluttony. Gluttony is one of the seven capital sins. 
The capital sins are sins that lead to other sins and further loss of freedom. Acting on every fleeting impulse is not freedom, but self-indulgence, which is harmful in the long run. Moderation is a virtue, and virtue requires discipline. The responsible use of freedom is to freely choose the right thing. Today, there are many pro-choice activists who are demanding an absolute right to choose. Well, the freedom of choose, the freedom to choose, is a good thing. But choice is not an absolute value in and of itself. What is chosen determines the validity of a choice. It's what's chosen that determines the validity of a choice. Theft, perjury, and murder are not choices. They're crimes. A prominent pro-life author has clarified this and revealed the dark reality of abortion with this very bold statement. What goes out the back door of abortion clinics in plastic bags are not choices. What goes out the back door of abortion clinics in plastic bags are dead babies. The right to choose as the right to speak, freedom of speech, is not an absolute unrestricted right. Freedom is perfected in freely choosing the moral good. Anything less is the path to the slavery of sin. May the Lord bless you with peace.